I thought I'd make a quick video. I'm in the van. I didn't really get time to myself anymore, so I thought this is a perfect opportunity. So TRT, I'm still on it, but my levels are declining. They're, they've been getting lower and lower and lower ever since I've been on subcutaneous cypionate. Um, last three months, just declining and declining. Uh, I spoke to the doctor. They said it could be the type of cypionate I'm taking, so I got changed to another one to see if my subcutaneous fat absorbs it better, my body absorbs it better, because maybe that's what's happening, maybe I'm just not absorbing it. Um, but then he ran out of that type of cypionate, so I'm back on the original cypionate they give me. Um, so yeah, I'm still feeling like shit. I feel like I'm not far away from where I was before I started TRT. And uh, when I felt good, I was on like 30 NMO. Uh, but now I'm on about 18 and more, I think. So I've declined quite a bit. And I can really, really feel it as well. I haven't been to the gym in, I don't know, God knows how long, probably like five, six months now. I just have not got the energy. Not just because I've got a little in now as well. Um, because when I first had her and she wasn't sleeping, I was actually going to the gym. Um, but I've just got worse and worse and worse. I went to see an endo two weeks ago. It took me a year from actually speaking to a GP to get in to see this endo, endocrinologist. Um, and even that one looks great, to be yeah. She said I could possibly qualify for it, but they want me to come off my TRT protocol, which I'm taking now, so they can test my baseline levels, which scares the shit out of me because I know what it was like before I was on TRT. I was a complete mess. Uh, the whole reason I started making videos was because I feel like I had no one to chat to or suffering with my mental health. And the only way I could talk to someone or vent was to just spontaneously upload a video to YouTube. And that's what I've done. That's where these few videos come from. So they did say I could qualify. Um, but if I did, it would be Nabido, which I don't want because that's something like once a month. So you're going to peak and then you're going to decline and decline and decline. I feel like that's just going to make my health, my mental health, a lot worse than what it already is because I'm doing three times a week at the minute, like sort of microdosing, um, just to stabilize your levels a bit, not get shoot up and then decline and decline and decline for the rest of the month. I'm not into that. I don't want to be doing that. It's prehistoric. Um, and the other one was with the gels, and we wanted the gels ain't the best either. I could transfer the gel onto my into my daughter, my seven month old, or my partner. Um, they're just two ridiculously shit options. So I ever want cypionate or an amphi. That is that is the ones ideally cypionate so I can keep doing it subcutaneously because it's so easy as a joke. In amphi, I felt the best on, straight into the muscle. So I may just have to resort back to that. But I don't know, we'll see where it goes. I need to speak to my doctor again from the company that I'm with because at the minute, I don't want to come off TRT for the NHS just to taste, test my baseline levels just to be put on a shit protocol. What is the point? I'd rather just try and get it sorted with the doctor that I'm on at the minute. I've actually been contacted by someone else as well, by another company um, offering to help me. Um, so I'm gonna speak to them as soon as I can and hopefully get something sorted there because this is just shit. I feel like I'm asking for help, but I'm not getting it. And I'm, I feel like shit, my depression's back. I feel a bit anxious. Admittedly, I'm nowhere near as anxious as what I was, but my depression is back. I don't want to train. I don't, I, normally, I feel guilty for not going to the gym. I beat myself up every day, but I don't even give a shit at a minute. I don't want to go to the gym and I don't give a shit. I've never felt like that before in my life. Don't give a shit about going to the gym. I could not give a shit. Even though I want to, I don't, be, I don't feel guilty. I just, I, I just can't be bothered. And I don't care. So that's, that's my sort of TRT update. I think I may have to go back onto the Enamphate because Cypionate subcutaneously injections, they're just not, they don't seem to be working for me. Even though it's so easy, literally black, bop, and you're done. It doesn't look like it's going to work for me. So I may be back onto the Enamphate and hopefully I'll start feeling better. Um, NHS, fucking pointless. I don't even know why I'm trying to pursue them when all I can get is Nibido and gel. Ultimately, I just feel worse. Even though uh, I'll be better off in my pocket, I wouldn't be paying over a hundred pound a month. 
it might just be a case of paying my prescription with them, which God knows how much that'd be anyway. But um, yeah, we've been we're getting neglected, us men. We're getting neglected with our hormones, especially in the construction industry, which is where I work. Male suicide is huge, absolutely massive. And I, I do think a lot of it is down to male hormones, especially testosterone. Everyone that I speak to, they know they've got low testosterone levels. They've got symptoms for it. And when I ask them, I say, look, go get them checked. They've always got low testosterone. I do I do think, like, people like go to these GPs and they chuck on antidepressants. A lot of the time, if you check your testosterone levels, they'll say, oh, yeah, it's normal. You're within the normal range. They're probably, like, between, like, 8 and 12 and more. And for, like, someone between who's, who's in between, what, early 20s or even early 30s, that's not normal. It's normal for between 18 and 60, say. Yeah. But look at look, that range is so huge. It's massive. I was a normal patient of 16 going to have the same levels as a normal patient of 70 it just it just doesn't make sense to me that normal range is massive and between n9 9 mo and 30 mo that's huge as well this is it's not working it's not working we're getting neglected and i've tried i try all the time to try and sort this out i stick up for men all in england to try and sort this shit out and we just don't get anywhere oh never mind hopefully we'll get sorted soon i'm gonna try and keep updating uh, my channel a bit more as well because i haven't been responding to comments or that i feel like i've been letting people down even though i've only got a few subscribers um i feel like trt and people who just subscribe to me I, I find that really important that's important to me if i can help people or even chat to people uh just be at the other, other side of youtube just to respond to some comments i feel i feel like that could really help people because people have really helped me but there we are speak to you again soon